Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 News Headlines. This is our first headline show in a couple weeks, so we have a lot to catch up on. City Councilor Jonathan Paz has announced that he is running for mayor of Waltham, challenging Mayor McCarthy, who confirmed last year that she'd be seeking re-election. WCAC broke the news yesterday evening, and Paz held a press conference on Moody Street this morning to make an official announcement. When I was first elected as city councilor, I led the fight for stable rents, affordable home ownership, and a modernized transit system. Mayor McCarthy blocked progress every step of the way. Paz is in his second term on the Waltham City Council, representing Ward 9, which is the South Side. In 2019, he defeated incumbent Robert Logan to become the youngest ever member of the council. If you'd like to learn more about him, check out Channel 781's interview with him from October, which you can find on our YouTube channel. In addition, retired Waltham police detective Tim King has announced he's running for an at-large seat on the city council. King was a member of the Waltham Police Department for 30 years and rose to the rank of detective sergeant before retiring in 2022. He made the announcement on Facebook on February 14th. So far, those are the only candidates we know of who have confirmed that they're running this year, but it's already looking like it's going to be a very interesting election, and we'll talk about that more on our debrief show. The battle over a contract for Waltham educators may not be over. According to a recent social media post by their union, the Waltham Educators Association. Back in November, the union said they had reached an agreement with the school committee on the key issues, so all that remained was to work out the details of the contract. But the recent posts say that they still don't have a contract due to different understandings of how raises would be applied to the stipends educators receive for leading extracurricular activities. The union asked supporters to contact the mayor and school committee to show support for the terms they thought they had already agreed on. Also in school news, WCAC reported that Waltham Superintendent Brian Reagan is a finalist for a job in the Hudson Mass school system. Dr. Reagan is a Waltham native, but he currently lives in Hudson and has worked there in the past. Former Waltham High School principal Brenda Pena left this past fall after serving for a year, so this news raises fears that the Waltham schools could continue to lose leaders to other districts. A bald eagle who was hatched in Waltham recently died from eating poisoned rodents, according to a Facebook post by a wildlife rescuer who implored people to stop using poison for rodent control. The city of Waltham uses poison in addition to other methods. There's currently a resolution regarding the city's rat problem making its way through the city council, but so far it's not clear whether it will address the use of poison. A recent article from The Justice, the Brandeis student newspaper, featured the Rhino Lounge, a Waltham restaurant that's a hub for the local African community. The article followed up on a controversial video that was posted to Reddit back in November from a meeting in which Waltham's Board of License Commissioners placed restrictions restrictions on the Rhino Lounge's license in response to an incident that was reported there. The article reveals that after the video appeared on Reddit, one of the commissioners visited the Rhino Lounge and removed the restrictions. I'm happy to say we'll have one of the writers of that story on our debrief show, and that will be the next thing we post, so stay tuned. Thank you very much.